Hello, welcome to Enups Engineering, I'm Alan. This week we start to make this drill spindle for the tool post. In this video we'll put some pressure on carbide inserts when we machine a case hardened steel bar. We'll do some milling in the lathe, cutting three flats on the end of this bar so the chuck can get a good grip. These bars are normally used in 3D printers and three axis machines as a guide bar with a linear bearing. This is a 12mm bar. I've tried using the linear bearings for rotational but they're no good at doing that. So let's go into the workshop see how we do it. Put my drive plate where the chuck would normally be mounted centre in this end, a revolving centre in this end. I've centred the bar uh, in the chuck on each end, clocking each end up true. Because this is hardened steel, and I know it's not hard in the middle, it's only um, surface, it's probably about a millimetre at the most, I've put my big centre in. I've gone back to a, a bigger tool. It'll take a bit more abuse. What I'm looking for is 15mm. Point four, four, five. Still hard. Soft now. You can tell the difference between the swarf there when it's softer, it's breaking up with the hard finish. I was getting a blue heat on the swarf, now it's not happening like that. So I'll change back to the smaller tool so I can get in. I've gone back to the 10mm tool with the smaller tip. The one reason why I changed to the bigger tool is that there are three cutting edges on each side of the tip and I've got a packet of 10 of those. With this small tool I've only got a couple so I'll just try it out on this, get a better finish and uh, square up this face. <laughs>
you'll notice as well that I'm using the tool on the right hand side of the tool post normally you'd be on the left hand side to get near the chuck by doing that I haven't got the the tool post in the way of the center so I can get right over size. Put my die 38 UNF in the die holder and the guide in the tailstock. So I can bring this forward now and start to cut the thread. In the headstock I've got my handle for turning the the chuck. That's at the back of the headstock. Just taking little cuts with the die because it's quite tough material. And while that's in the chuck, I'm just going to drill four millimeter hole in the end. And I've just fitted a button head screw and that will hold the chuck on when you put it in reverse. The chuck locks up on the face. Now the other end I wanted to mill three flats on this. The um, problem I've got is obviously this is really tough material. So what I will do is turn the outside down to get rid of the hardness and then machine the flats. So this is the important end which we did between centres so I know that this diameter is running true with the bar. So I'll put it back in the chuck, put my tool back on and machine about inch and a half off the end of the diameter. So I'm down to soft material.
can still see there's a hard part there where it's shiny and the rest is soft. <laughs> Okay, that should do it. I want to put some flats on there for it to grip. It'll be okay. I fitted my indexing fixture from the tool grinder into the tool post. I set it square to the chuck. I've just used square on the edge of the fixture up against the chuck to set the part square. I've put a 12mm ER20 collet in the end and held the rod on the 12mm collet. The reason why I fitted the fly cutter and not an end mill is because the centre of this spindle is above the centre of the lathe and I'd need about a 1 inch cutter to get the cutter onto the centre line. So this will just put a flat on that spindle. Set the depth to zero for the in feed, and I'll set the depth to zero for the maximum distance in when the cutter comes up to the end here. So now I'll just start the machine off. <laughs> Turn to the next flat. I've marked on the top here. So there's 12 holes on this dividing ring. So I'll just move four holes round. One, two, three, four. And feed the screw into the location. Set the depth to zero on the cross slide. Back it out. One turn. I've just filed the sharp edges off. There's the three flats I've just put on. And the idea of that is, is that the chuck will fit on there. And once the jaws grip the flats, it's not going to turn and twist on the, the shaft. Oh well, that's it for today.